ahead of most of the European countries. But if we use the weighted ranks, we have still a lot of room to do something together. For the future directions, investing for science and technology is going to continue, even though those crises area. We are still trying to make new instruments for eliminating the barriers for the freedom of movement of researchers in Turkey. And we are just going to present a new program for the distribution of those activities throughout the country. This is what we call city innovation platforms. Turkey has a national strategy plan to increase investment in research and increase their human research capacities. They have also used, with some success, national support measures to increase their participation under the FP7. There is a clear correlation between their national research policy aiming at strengthening the research capacity and the take-up of FP7 projects. To optimize its participation in the European Framework Program, Turkey should also develop its own research capacity. But they have also been working hard through the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, or TUBITAK, to establish a dedicated division devoted to the EU framework program. The process of Turkey, Turkey's accession to Europe uh, is very important, and research and development is a very important motivational tool here. This process is very important also for the implementation of the market economy in Turkey and for the foreign direct investment to happen in Turkey. Global crisis is helping the world to restructure itself. And in this restructuring, the economic uh, participants are also taking part. The balances in the economy are changing. We have to work in the new cooperation areas. We have to look at research and development. Uh, we have to look at education authorities. We have to look at exchanges between students and teachers. We have to look at this all in a much wide uh, area. If a country is built on research on development, then it will have competitive uh, economics and it will have democracy. For the last five years, we have been investing in this area and we have our decisiveness and this is continuing. We have managed to catch a certain acceleration and international researchers and research and development is very important and that's why we're trying to make Turkey attractive for all this. Knowledge is the only resource whose value increases when it is shared or when it is used. Nevertheless, as we know, knowledge investments in Europe have become a source of, of concern. On the one hand, there is a lot of diversity in knowledge. Some countries are investing heavily in knowledge. Example, Sweden, Finland, Switzerland. Others are heavily under-investing in knowledge, so big differences in knowledge. And on top of it, in the second place, knowledge and knowledge systems are often disconnected.